And then Mr. George. When you're traveling to the Philippines, it's highly likely you will want to visit the incredible Coron Island, which is famous for its marvelous limestone cliffs, crystal clear waters, and most importantly, the shipwreck diving spot. If you just arrived to the Philippines, you're most likely in Manila or Cebu, which means you can easily book a direct flight to Coron Buswanga. If you book in advance, you can get a very good price, less than 100 euros for a return flight. The second scenario is when you're already in El Nido Palawan and you wish to continue your travels towards Coron Island. To travel from El Nido to Coron, most people will book a ferry ticket with the fast ferry company Montenegro Lines, which should take about 4-5 hours, weather permitting of course, and it costs around 35 or 40 euros. There's also a slightly cheaper option with a regular ferry, but it will take you around 8-12 to 12 hours depending on the weather. We have never taken a ferry between these two islands, so we don't know for sure what the journey looks like. In our opinion, the best way to travel between Coron and El Nido in either direction is by booking a 3 or 4 days island hopping expedition where you will be sleeping on remote islands in Linapakan and visit 3 or 4 remote islands every day, snorkel sea, wonderful sea life. A 4 days island hopping expedition was our choice in 2020 when we visited Coron and we absolutely loved every second of it. We have already visited Coron before, this was our second time traveling here, so this time when we wanted to return to Coron from El Nido, we were lucky enough to find very cheap flights with Air Swift Airline. We paid about 45 euros per person for a short 25 minutes flight. Pretty exciting, we are flying from uh, El Nido to Coron, only maybe 10 of us in the, pl in the plane. But Air Swift only have three airplanes altogether, one just left to Manila. So I guess this one flying to Coron will go somewhere else from Coron after, so makes sense. Or come back. Yeah. Oh, we're leaving.
you can enjoy the rain somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> this is like for Barton. Uh, uh, the name of your hotel? Gateway, Coron, Gateway. Gateway, not Gateway. 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 Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. So you don't need to pre book anything when you come out of the airport. You will find plenty of vans here. Same story in Shergal. <sighs> Bit more light. Welcome to Koran. Welcome to Corona, and this is a Gateway Hotel. Yeah. Um, we already managed to make a mess here in a few minutes, so guys, that's why usually we don't really show you where we're staying because as soon as we come in, we manage to make a disaster in the room straight away. So just <laughs> we need to unpack, actually. Yeah, we always because unpack. The yeah. Backpacks are quite uh, full. Yeah. So we're back in Corona after two years and we're really excited. Last time we were here only for two days, so there's still a lot for us to discover around. And uh, now obviously we have our diving certificate, so it's a good opportunity. Although we're not sure we can do any shipwreck diving, we only have open water paddy certificates. But we're gonna go out now and explore what our options are, check the prices for boat tours, for kayak rental, and everything and we got we're gonna keep you posted guys as well so you know if you come to Coron post pandemic what to expect what the prices are yeah so let's get going today is more of an admin day so this is the hotel Coron gateway um it's good it's nice inside it's a bit uh oldies but goldies but it's a good space for us it's important to have a big room with space so we can both work and it's very close to the port so it's really good and over there those streets the restaurants and shops and all the tours and diving center so it's, it's a good position oh we rented the scooter anyway but I think if you if you stay around this place you don't necessarily need it no not necessarily only if you want to go far away on the island. Yeah, that's why. First we wanted to rent the bike for a full week, but then we only rented it for two days. And let's see after. Because if, if we take a kayak or a boat tour, we go straight from here and we come back here. And then to eat, we just walk five minutes, seven minutes. So there's no point really to pay 600 pesos per day. It's a bit more expensive here in Coron. In Cebu, we used to pay three. 400 around 400 yeah for a scooter so yeah let's go then so it's sorted thank you thank you so yeah we we uh, at the reggae dive center right so yeah. these are all the ships uh, shipwrecks you can see and we book our dives. Yeah, three fun dives, dives for 4,500. Yeah, 4,500 4, pesos. Let's just, I want to take it inside. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So we this is the map. To the reef, to Terukaze, up there, no? Because that covers our certification, and yeah, and, and that one. And then you go home. <laughs> and then a beer and go home. <laughs> yeah, it's here on Monday. We're gonna come to try the beer. Yeah. Now, let's go eat. So we are on our way now to Bali Beach, where um, the the guy at the diving center told us that we can find kayaks. So we're going to ask how much the how much it costs for a day, full day rent, and maybe Monday we will go there. Um, oh my God! Okay. 
So here we already followed up the main road and we are on the dirt road so let's go. So the GPS brought us at Mac McKean's Hot Spring Forest Reserve. It says that here is the Bali beach as well, uh, but we can't see any kayaks, so we're just gonna go and see if there's something down. Something else besides the uh, bass. Yeah. Oh, not bad. It's a cricket, I think, no? I think so. Or bad. In bad. There's no kayaks. It's long time. Look, the mangroves over there. Yeah. So I'm not gonna go on the beach because I'm afraid of nicknicks. Yeah. Yeah, and there's mangroves. So. But I think there are just people living here. Yeah. But there's no kayaks as far as I can see. So yeah, we're gonna research more. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Downtown. Maybe we can go in the port area to see. Yeah. So we are very happy with the new scooter. It's, it's the large size and it's so comfy. So here in Coron you have a few options to complete. You have a deli here with cold cuts. And we're going to Epic here. Copy time! Copy, Copy time! Copy time! Copy. We've done some pretty amazing things in the week that we spent in Coron. So if you would like to see our journey here in Coron and in the Philippines, please consider subscribing to our channel and show our videos some love. In the next few episodes, you will see some of the best things we have done here, such as learning how to freedive up to 20 meters in Barracuda Lake. Disclaimer, we did see the Barracuda fish during our training session and he's a total cutie. We have done some island hopping tours around the lagoons, free dived a lot with extraordinary sea life here in Coron, there are so many coral reefs and gardens, it's amazing. We have also taken the longer tours to visit the islands that are further out in Coron, closer to Linapakan, such as Ditaitayan Island and Sandbar or Markapuya Island. And last but not least, we scuba dive to a few shipwrecks. To be honest, before diving here, we believe shipwrecks diving is overrated, but it is not. It's something you need to see once in a lifetime with your eyes. So we will see you in our next episode. If you would like to see our journey here in Corona in the Philippines, please consider subscribing to our channel and show our videos some love.